Hello. If you go to a sports, massage, or physiotherapist who works with fascia, one of the things they'll understand and perhaps explain based upon what they're working on is that your fascia likes to be aligned straight. Walking, moving, sitting in wood posture for long periods of time can have an impact on how your fascia is aligned. The human body is miraculous. It has a knack for adapting, adjusting to the conditions it's placed under, but just because it has adapted does not mean it has retained its natural optimum position. The adaptation may actually have an impact on the overall performance of your fascia. If your fascia is aligned in its natural position, it's more likely to be healthy, which means you inch closer to maximizing its tensile properties to your advantage. A simple way to have healthier fascia is to just drink more water. If your fascia is aligned in its natural position, it's more likely to be healthy, which means you inch closer to maximizing its tensile properties to your advantage. A simple way to have healthier fascia is to just drink more water. You can imagine why some fighters lose the elastic feel to their bodies after a bad weight cut. Why, despite having a strength and size advantage, they actually lose a lot of power. The myofascial meridians, which distribute strain, transmit force, components for locomotor movements, they aren't in their optimal healthy state. That's perhaps a reason as to why time to time someone will hydrate it off a weight cut can demonstrate a tier of power that straight up shocks the world. Why well hydrated fighters with a higher body fat percentage can sling a surprising tier of power. Their fascia is just healthier, optimally elastic, thus it assists in the propulsion of their techniques. Someone like Deontay Wilder, a fighter who doesn't really need to cut a lot of weight, is incredibly bouncy, springy, demonstrates the recoil of elasticity in all of his power punches, even in the way he jumps and moves at times. You can envision him shouting, That's one advantage heavyweight fighters have in general. Some heavyweights do not need to cut weight in order to compete, thus with a well hydrated and healthy fascia they can harness the tensile strength of their bodies into propulsion, myofascial force transmission. So what does Conor McGregor's billionaire stride have to do with all of this? Another way to have healthier fascia is to just have it aligned in its natural position. One very simple exercise you can utilize is to just walk with your arms naturally swinging not consciously, but as a result of walking with your feet pointed forward. Posture, upright, but you're relaxed, letting the elastic properties of your body do its thing naturally. Nothing is forced, your arms should swing by themselves, and your torso should alternate side to side as a result of the lumbodorsal fascia working as part of a natural energy efficient gait. Stand upright, let your arms swing naturally, feet pointed forward from there. Note the crisscross arrangement of the elastic springs acting as a model for the posterior layer of the lumbar dorsal fascia. The lumbar dorsal fascia will act like an elastic spring to help propel the mass of the trunk forward. Using your body properly, it will align it properly which will help promote its overall health. When it's healthy, innately, it will work better. Now, if you're walking down the street and people start to laugh at your billionaire strut, what are they gonna do beyond that? Fight you about it? You and your healthy fascia working optimally for force transmission? I think not. If you'd like more from me, please subscribe and hit the notifications. Thank you if you did. It truly does mean a lot to me. Thank you. Smash like button if you enjoyed. It's Kokarma, and until next time, peace.